definitely, you know, expected more. Um, but it's the NFL, and they came out, and they they know their weaknesses, and they corrected those. They didn't put people in a lot of one-on-one situations. They didn't uh, run all the cover nine and four. They ran a lot of cover two, which uh, wasn't really expected. But, you know, they down corners, they down players. So that's the best way to protect uh the defense and they came out and they ex- executed their scheme pretty well so I mean it's unfortunate that we weren't able to get the win but you know our defense played well uh, you know we just we didn't hold our end of the bargain up. I know a lot of what Bryce is going through are rookie growing pains but those growing pains are making it tough for you guys to win some games too um, so where's the balance how do you how do you come the piece with that that you said you want to get to the point where you see the good stuff like Trevor um you gotta you gotta endure I mean if you don't endure you're not going to see that right? you don't just come in and everything is all rah rah and shiny sometimes some situations you get that but when you endure you know what it's like to be at the bottom which makes those high points at, on the mountain great we gotta endure um and it's unfortunate. Nobody likes it. Nobody wants to sit there and go through the the frustrations and the pains and the losses and things like that. But it's it's just history always repeats itself. You know, it's when you're down, at some point you're gonna be up again. It's just a matter of when. And that's just what I believe personally. I, you, whether it's this year, end of the year, beginning of next year, at some point, you know, it's gonna flip and people are going to be happy I mean, it's going to be people going to enjoy that but unfortunately right now you know you got to endure uh trying times right now we know that's that's our dude like 100 percent all the time I'm never going to answer a question any, any other way than that because that's something i believe you know that you know in my heart that's our guy um showed it time and time again so mistakes you know one bad game isn't going to change that no matter what Previous two games, you guys had combined five penalties. Today, obviously, a setback in that area. What do you think the root of that is? Uh, I won't say there's really like a root cause. Or just you know, we take games week by week, and, and this week we just want to focus um, and just want to discipline this week. Um, not really sure if there's a point to that, but it's just you know the fact of the game. You know, we just want to discipline as we should have been. So, what disappointed you the most about the way the offense played today? Shoot. Uh, I mean, I just feel like I, I just like playing a little bit more cohesive football. You know, I, we had a great opportunity here. You know, Chandler Wu got it, made a great play on the ball. Special teams gave us the ball right there. And, you know, past the 50 yard line, you know, we didn't capitalize. And um, that kind of just feeds into the rest of the team. So at the end of the day, you know, I just feel like we should, we could definitely play a lot more synchronized football, you know, in all three phases. And obviously, with me, it starts with the offense. Vicky, it seemed like the offense had, and even Frank just said, made some strides the last few weeks. How do you kind of get back to that after a rough outing today? Just go back to work. Um, go back to practice. <clears throat> watch the tape. Uh, I'll, one of the things, one of the things that's great about the guys in this room is no one takes criticism harshly. Um, we all, you know, we, we all love to learn, get better. And that's not going to change this week. Um, so you know, to watch the tape, learn from mistakes, and just get better week to week. And obviously, show week coming up. So not too long to feel bad about yourself. I know this is us already, but what adjustments did you? I know last week you didn't have a great game. Um, what adjustments did you make coming into this game today to help improve? I don't want to get too deep into you know technique stuff. Yeah. Obviously, just competitive advantage, but um, I guess kind of just focusing on my pass pro fundamentals. I'm kind of gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Obviously, you know, got a great support staff, players, but also Coach Campbell and Coach Kugler. Um, you know, just been great for me in my development. So that didn't change this week. You know, they told me some things to focus on, and I took it to heart. Um, obviously, you know, I had to play better. Had to play better. Um, not there yet, but getting there. So you, you said that you guys, no one on this team is bad at taking criticism. How much criticism do you let in, or that you take the heart, use your work? Take the heart. I mean, nothing. I mean, I feel like we kind of did a good job of building that chemistry. So anybody can call anybody out on this team, and we kind of just eat it and just kind of learn from it. Um, I don't think it's ever going to change. Um, so I don't really take criticism in the heart. I kind of just I look at it, you know, if they're, if they're confident enough in me that I can listen to what they're saying, then I'm going to make those adjustments. At the end of the day, just be a better teammate. I was in, you know, saw the screen coming, and all I could say is I'm, uh, Bryce just has to throw that in the dirt. And that's all. Yeah. Uh, he knows that, though, so. 
Yeah. You weren't open at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was just no nothing. No, there no, the, the screen was yeah. pretty much dead. But yeah, I just got thought I one in the in the dirt. What's what's Bryce when he makes those type of mistakes? What's he when he goes back to the sideline? What do you see and observe? Oh, it's the same guy. Same guy. It's, um, yeah, he's the same guy. I, I sit right next to him on the bench, so um, it's cool, calm. We talking, talking about what he saw, and, and he just said, "Bro, I, I should throw in the dirt." And he told me before he, you know what I'm saying, we all know it, but he told me as long as he can admit that and he knows his mistakes. I mean, we're gonna be cool. I mean, uh, I don't have no doubt in, in nine. I mean, it's just one game, and I guess still got a long season ahead. Does he get mad at himself? You, you of see? course, of course. Uh, but he doesn't doesn't show it really. Just, I mean, he's he's the quarterback of an NFL football team, so he has to he has a quick memory and go back out there and conduct the whole offense. So like I only I can only imagine how hard that is. But he's definitely capable of doing it. and He does it every game. So the one touchdown drive you guys did have, I think you had 40 yards of offense on that drive. Is that kind of what you really expect from yourself? Uh, going into these games, oh, yeah. that Absol type of production. Absolutely, um, especially with the how the second half started. You know, they gave me the first ball, and and yeah, that's that's exactly how I picture it. And just trying to create explosive uh, plays in the run game, and that creates explosive plays down the field too. So, and we we drove right down that field and, and scored. So every draft should look like that. But like I said, penalties and and, and little stuff like that is is what's holding us back right now, and it's, and it's tough. The explosive plays you made today and tonight, does that make a strong case for you to get the rock more? Um, we'll see. We'll see. You know, um, I'm just I'm just here to uh, do whatever I can to help the team win. And if, if that involves me doing that, and then I'm, I'm with it. So, Miles, you and several other guys in here have, have voiced your support for for Bryce. What what gives you the confidence that he can get things turned around? I mean, one, um, I, I seen him how he works uh, starting in training camp, you know, well, OTAs and then training camp, and um, we're we're in this battle together, and uh, you know the season's going the way it's going, and then he hasn't changed. He's been the same Bryce since since day one, and um, that's more than enough that I need uh, for for my starting quarterback to, to have any confidence in him. So um, I'm not worried about anything. It's, it's just an bad game by him and pretty sure he knows that but we're gonna get back to work and we got prime time on Thursday so is that a good thing the, the short turnaround absolutely absolutely why uh forget about this game <laughs> you got prime time coming up so ball out in prime time everybody forget this game